So are you ready to take off those shackles of your weak, armsy swing that's super inconsistent and leading to frustration on the course? Good, because the world needs more great ball strikers and I'd love to be the one to help take you to the promised land because I know exactly what it feels like to practice and work on your swing and buy training aids and buy expensive clubs and not get any better. I'm Chuck Quinton and I've been teaching for nearly 30 years and I played professionally for eight and I worked with so many instructors on my own game when I was playing professionally and I learned one simple truth and that is that the way golf instruction is taught is wrong. There's a much, much easier way. It's a much simpler way to learn how to swing the club as I've demonstrated in my own swing to build a truly perfect golf swing, a perfect swing playing like the best ball strikers of all time. And I can teach you how to do the backswing in just five minutes through three simple moves. But first, let me ask you, do you think that you can learn the golf swing solely through online golf instruction? Learning is my passion. My undergrad degree is in psychology and understanding how the brain learns new movement patterns is one of my favorite things in the world and I love getting my students to see that aha moment when they realize, oh, this doesn't have to be this hard and I can learn the golf swing in a really simple way and make it stick, that's exactly what I'm gonna share with you today. Through three simple moves, you can build a truly perfect, world-class, on-plane, simple, powerful, and repeatable backswing in three simple moves that I'm gonna teach you in five minutes. Once you learn these three simple moves and you understand what it takes to make them stick so that you don't have to go out to the golf course wondering, am I gonna hit the ball well today or am, gonna, am I going to embarrass myself today? Because I know we've all been out there chasing swing tip after swing tip. It doesn't have to be that hard. If you're tired of chasing that old Band-Aid tip approach to golf instruction where you throw a Band-Aid on there, it falls off and you try another one the next day, then listen up because this is gonna be your way to get off that revolving carousel and truly make lasting improvement in your swing. So if you're ready to try the modern approach to golf instruction, to learn how to make the golf swing truly powerful, repeatable, and simple to learn, hop up. If you're sitting, stand up with me because I want you to feel this. You're going to be able to do this in the next five minutes. You're going to be able to get off that yo-yo golf instruction tip-based approach and truly remember exactly how to make a perfect backswing by remembering just three little letters, R, E, F, rotation, elevation, flexion. And we're gonna start with elevation and flexion first. So if you're standing, here's all you need to do to understand why you're struggling with your backswing and how to fix it right now. Here's the trick. All your arms do in the swing is elevate. Your arms need to move vertically in the backswing, not across your body. That is the key. When you move your arms across your body, your arms and hands are gonna move deep. You're gonna to struggle to get them to be in a reasonable position at the top. It's very easy to get a flying right elbow across the line, off plane, etc. The trick is that your arms only move vertically. Now we're gonna talk about how to balance this out in just a moment, but for right now, if you can move your hands from about belt high as you're standing here with me to your elbow at about the base of your chest, your pec muscle, that's it. That's half the backswing you just licked. In order to swing like me, to swing like Tiger, like you see in the video, that's all we're doing in the backswing is elevating our arms. Now you're saying, well, this doesn't look like a backswing. Well, then we need to add flexion. So we have elevation and flexion is just your trail arm for a right-handed golfer, it's your right arm bending at the elbow about 90 degrees. And that's it, any more than that, it's too much. We want the fewest moving parts humanly possible and so we need to bend our arm about 90 degrees. If you take your left thumb, if you're a right-handed golfer and grab it as if it was the shaft, you can put these two moves together, elevation and flexion. You see that? Kind of starting to look like a golf swing, right? All I did was move my arms vertically and then added flexion. Notice my arms are still in front of my chest. So many golfers struggle with their arms getting deep and buried around behind them. It's because you're adducting them across your body and they only move vertically. When you look at Tiger swing, when you look at me swing, this is all we're doing. This is the whole secret. We're moving less than everybody else. This is why our swing planes are so consistent and so simple. Elevation, flexion. These are what we would call steepening moves in the backswing. So when you have steepening moves, you then need to balance that out with a shallowing move. 
which would be the first letter in our acronym, rotation. Rotation creates depth in the swing. Now you're saying, well, what are all these fancy? I don't understand what you're saying. Rotation, if I moved my hands just by moving my body, note that that's moving them around, which would create a shallowing move in my swing. If I combine rotation with elevation, what happens? You see that? Starting to create a plane. The incline plane that you create is not done by swinging your arms on an incline plane. That's impossible to time consistently. Think about all the extra moving parts you're putting in there. Ton of internal rotation, external rotation here, your wrist movement. It doesn't need to be that hard. To move perfectly simple like Tiger, like myself, all we're doing is elevation, rotation, flexion. If I start blending these together, rotation, elevation, flexion. Hey, look at that. Is it starting to look like a golf swing? If I grab the club and I do elevation, flexion, rotation, does that look like a good spot at the top? Elevation, flexion, rotation. Now let's blend those all in one motion. Rotation, elevation, flexion. Rotation, elevation, flexion. Starting to see how it works? Your arms don't move across your body. You don't swing them across your body, but that's what every golfer wants to do because the momentum of the club, once you start swinging it that way, keeps pulling them even further. Your arms move vertically. They don't create depth in the swing. That's the whole secret to my swing. It's the whole secret to Tiger's swing. If you move your arms in a vertical fashion, while moving your body in a rotational fashion, you keep your arms in front of your body, you get into a perfect position at the top, all through three simple letters. Didn't cost you a penny. And guess what? You just learned how to make a perfect swing, exactly like Tiger Woods, exactly like the best players in the world, all online. Didn't cost you a penny, didn't have to buy a training aid, didn't need to go to the course to get a lesson. So not only did I save you a hundred bucks with your local instructor and a thousand dollars an hour for a lesson with me in person, but you can learn all these simple moves if it's taught the right way solely through online instruction. And if you liked what I just shared with you now, imagine how much more I have to share with you to make the swing truly simple to learn and understand solely through online instruction because my C4 ball striking mastery program will teach you how to hit the ball consistently on day one. C4 stands for consistency, control, compression, and confidence. That's what my ball striking program is going to teach you and you can do it absolutely free for seven days. You don't have to enter your credit card because I want to share with you these simple secrets because golf is just way too frustrating and complicated these days the way that it's taught. It shouldn't be this hard and it's not this hard when you follow the rotary swing method. You're going to learn on day one the five keys that you need to hit consistently perfect laser straight shots. In phase two you're going to learn how to shot shot shape. You're going to learn how to control the ball, learn how to release the club properly. Phase three, you're going to learn how to compress the ball. And phase four, you're going to learn how to have confidence so you know exactly where that ball is going before you even step up and hit it. And best of all, it's not going to cost you a penny. I want you to try these things because golf is so hard. It's so frustrating the way things are being done these days and everybody's making it so much more complicated than it needs to be. You've just seen how simple the backswing can be. In the downswing, it's just one simple move that I want to share with you that's going to get the club perfectly shallowed out, perfectly on plane every single time, and you won't have to think about it. You'll be able to feel what it feels like to swing like a tour pro. And to make this an absolutely no-brainer offer, not only do you not have to enter your credit card, just enter your email address and password below and you'll get instant access, but I want to give you a free swing review with one of my certified rotary swing instructors. It's a $49 value. It won't cost you a thing because I want you to see just how much we can help you through online instruction so that you can see how simple things can be and how much more you can enjoy the game when your golf swing and your head isn't full of a bunch of random tips and thoughts. So if you're tired of frustrating golf instruction, tired of people trying to sell you things that you don't need, sign up for my C4 Ball Striking Mastery Program absolutely free, no credit card required, get instant access, and let's see how good of a ball striker we can help you become.